Now it's time for our ab workout to focus on the core muscles, your abdominals and your waistline. So let's get started. Take a deep breath, inhale, bring in that oxygen and exhale it out. That's right. This time, inhale. And as you exhale, tighten up those abs. Tight, tight, tight. Exhale out, wonderful. And release. Now let's work on that lower tummy. Bring your body down. Go down to your elbows to a plank pose. This is level one, stay up here. You're toning and tightening up the tummy right now. Hold it up, isometric hold. Now, level two, go up to your toes and just hold it right there. Isometric hold, hold, hold. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, level three. This is a great isometric hold for the abs. This is working the transverse abdominus. Switch legs, that's it, switch again. This is what's keeping the tummy tucked in, that's it and release. Wonderful, and now turn all the way over to your tummy, ready for some lower tummy exercises. Good. First of all, I want you to start with your hands underneath your hips. Elevate both feet. This is a great way to target the lower tummy. It's a lift and it's a lower. Initiate this movement below the belly button. This is where it all counts, right here. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, Go ahead to the next level, level two. Bending your knees, placing your hands out, and let's begin. In and release. Tighten up the tummy and release down. Ready? In, exhale, and down. Good. Notice that my feet don't touch the floor. It stays right here. It's a lift and it's a lower. Don't let your feet go down. That will hurt your lower back. It's all about staying right here. Lift and lower. Now, for those of you that are advanced, go ahead, placing your hands open wide. And now, lift and lower. Woo, can you feel it in the lower tummy? Below the belly button. Squeeze your thighs together. That's it, focusing on the muscles of the lower abdominals. That's it, lift and lower. We've got two more. Lift, last one, and relax. Okay, now, let's go on to our side. Let's work these oblique muscles, your waistline muscles. Go up nice and tall, lifting up on one knee. That's it, hold yourself up there. Great, focusing on those sides of the waistline. Hold it, now level two, go up to your toes, up on your feet, that's it. And challenge yourself on number three, level three. Get up there, come on, isometric hold. Notice that I'll be doing the isometric move and then a mover. That's it. Hold it, hold it. Tighten that tummy and release. Take a break. Stretch out that shoulder. You did great. Now we're going to do a mover. That really works the sides of the waistline. Let's begin lifting up your hips and slowly inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, crunch down, tummy tuck in and inhale up and exhale down. Okay, now if you want to challenge yourself, go to level two. Bring both legs up and inhale, exhale, and lift, inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Last one. Come on, this one's a toughie. It's a challenger. Great. And hold it up there. Isometric hold. Okay, switch sides. Let's go to the other side. Thinking about good posture, your elbow is in line with your shoulder. Ready? Just lift yourself up. Hold it up there. You're feeling it right here. Isometric hold for the waistline. Our oblique muscles. Begin up here for level two. Hold level two right there. Wonderful. Tighten that tummy as your waistline goes in. And now level three. All the way up. Strong body, strong minds. Because you are worth it. You deserve to have a strong abs. That's it. And take it down. Relax, shake out your shoulder. That's it, now we're gonna do the mover. You're gonna hold that position and the crunch. Let's begin. First of all, on level one. Think about good posture, lift your elbow behind you. Inhale and exhale, crunch down, tummies in, tuck it under. That's it, that's great. And exhale out, wonderful. Level two, go ahead all the way up to your feet. That's it, this is a tough one. This is advanced. This'll challenge those ab muscles. That's it. Inhale up and exhale down. Last one, give it all you've got. It's a challenger. 
and release. Wonderful. Okay, now it's time to line your back. Bring both knees up to your chest. Now, I want you to straighten out one leg to a point of control so your back doesn't come off the floor. It's tightening up your abs. And now let's switch. Switch. This is level one. If you're just starting out, you stay here. Level two is head up. Come on, you could do it. Great. Exhale, exhale, wonderful. Level three is straight leg. This is a challenger. Give it a try, come on. Tighten up those abs. This is a mover. The muscles of the abs are nice and strong. You're isolating them, but you're also moving those legs. So you're really giving a little more resistance. Last one, okay, release. And now a simple basic crunch. Basic, but very effective. Let's begin. Inhale and come up and exhale. And inhale down. Exhale up. Let's make sure you're doing it correctly. Great. Michelle, notice her stomach is in, pressing the belly button down. Very important. Now, level two, bringing your legs up. That's it. Now you're really working a little more rectus abdominis muscle. 100% of abdominal. That's it. Good. Keep it working. Tighten up the tummy. Good. Now, level three, a double crunch. In and open and in. Not open too much. Just right there. Notice your knees are perfect. Good body alignment is so important. Good technique and proper form. Last one. In and release. Great. You did it. Okay, now we're going to do a single twist. Just twist to the side. I like to call this crisscross or bicycle. One of the most effective. It works them all. The lower tummy, the front of the tummy, and the sides of the waistline. Let's begin. Start with your knees bent. Again, straighten out that leg to a point of control so your abs are strong. Lift your chest up and open and turn to the side. Twist. Ready and switch. And switch. Exhale. Switch. Switch. You can do it. Keep it going. This is a great one. Working all the ab workout. That's it. Working from all angles. Twist for that waist. Trim slim waistline. Two more. Last one. Wonderful. Okay, take a breather. Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's go on to our tummies. So circle your legs around. And let's begin in plank pose. Lifting up nice and tall. Good posture. Is your tummy in? Is your back straight? Zip up those abs. It's all about strength of the body. Now pull one knee in and push it back out. Pull the other leg in and out. Good. Two more just like that. Tighten up those abs. And now we're going to cross them to work the waistline. Twist and release. And twist and release. And twist. You got it. One more. Twist and hold. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Hold your tummy in. That's it. Now slowly go down to the ground. Slowly. Strong arms. Now we're going to work on our back. Work in the opposing muscle group. Bring your hands behind you. Now slowly lift up your back. Lift it up. Beautiful. Great. To strengthen the muscles of the spine. These are called their erector spinae muscles. Take a breather. Inhale up. Now press your tummy up and in still. And release. Good. This is now working all the muscles that line your spine. The erector spinae muscles. We've got one more. Good. Always perfect balance. I work the opposing muscle group. The abs are in the front and the erector spinae muscles in the back and release. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. My favorite exercise of all, the saw. Sit up tall. Good. Twist the body and stretch over. Good. Suck in the gut. That's it. Keep those abdominals pulled in. Zip up those abs. Twist to the other side. Twist. Good. And lift back up. Really pull in those abs. Twist. Working the whole abs. Rotation. Working from all angles. That's it, good. So really flatten those abs, trim and slim your waistline. Sit up nice and tall, that's it. Again, exhale out, pull in the belly button, up and in, that's it, and to the other side. You got it, twist, that's it, wonderful. And release, sitting up nice and tall, taking a nice deep breath, extend the spine, 
Stretch the spine, keeping it healthy, keeping it strong. Perfect focus on those abs. Wonderful. One more deep.